Hi, everyone. Welcome. To the My name is Richard Smith. Thank you so much for joining me and speaking with me tonight. It has, um, let's try this again with, um, um, let's hope everything works out well. I had some issues before, so, um, which is, um, which uh, we should be working, but not my dad. So let's hope all is well. So thank you so much for joining me. And um, I'm an independent camping up demonstrator in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, tonight I have got a card using the Spotlight on Nature bundle. It will be well worth the wait. So um, I'm going to be sharing some colouring techniques, some uh, layering techniques. Uh, layering is what I just love to do and I um, share with you some tips on how you can do that. So the Spotlight on Nature bundle can be found on page 69 of your annual old catalog. Um, and right now you can get it at a further discount in the sense of the bundle price. So anywhere where you see the 10% means it has been, uh, the, it's been bundled up. So individually purchased, it's more, but when you bundle it up, it's reduced. But until the 30th of June, you can get this at a further 10% discount. There are several bundles that are available with this discount. And um, you can hop on my uh, site um, and shop any of those products. And they're available until the 30th of June uh, while they are in stock. Um, you can also get our stamping card and emboss machines as well at a 10% discount. So we'll get to the crafting and I will show you one of our machines, the large one, which I'll be using today and um, share with you this uh, spotlight on nature bundle. Okay. So okay, let's take a look and close a look at this bundle. So we've got some dies and really the dies are standalone, I would say. Thank you. Um, the, these are pretty images by themselves, but they don't have that. There's no dies that cut out these images. So that's why I said the dies are standalone um, and they are nesting. So you get 12 dies. Um, they have some lovely detail on them. Uh, these remind me of that radiating citrus size. It's got those nice lines on them. And these are like little leaves. And then you've got those horizontal, um, like a dashes, I would say like dashes, the stripes on them. So some little detail on them. I'm going to be, I've already pre-cut um, this one out of basic page card. So I will be die cutting this um, out of basic white. So I will get that done now. So with the stamping card and emboss machine, you will get the plates. This is our, our larger one. And um, you will get the plates with it. So, um, so you get a base kit. Any of these products can be added to a starter kit. So, which essentially gives you even greater value for your starter kit so because you're paying less for these products that are on sale, you're going to get even more value or starter kit. You can add more products in there because you're paying less for this thing. So. We've got that. That's so the starter kit is $169. You can put $235 of product in there if you wanted to add a uh, stamping card and emboss machine. You could do that. The first thing, the colors I'm going to be using are the ink pads. I will be using Tuxedo Black and Balmy Blue, Basic Beige, and Berry Burst. 
And I will also be using, I'm just going to pull that in a bit. Hopefully you can see that. Then I'm going to bring in the Barbie Blue first. And we will, just adjusting the camera. I was rushing around. Um, load up your brush. And I just want to, a faint um, background. Just when you blend, um, just hold the tip well, like the brush head. Well, and blend lightly, start lightly. But then you can add pressure as you need it. But if you blend lightly, then you can add more color to it. Now I'm going to be blending a little more here. On one side, just leaving a bit of a lighter edge here, and that's just how the design is. I'm going to have a focal image there. And then we will stand our this little image, which is like the crisscross image. And I'm going to do that um, kind of in like a triangular pattern so that it draws the eye where my focal image is going to be. Next, I will add my flowers in Tuxedo Black and we're going to color them in sample blends. Now, as I said, this does not have a die and you could stamp this on directly onto your card um or onto a die cut square or a rectangle or circle it doesn't matter i'm going to be fussy cutting this uh just that that's what i like to do today um just depends on the design and don't be afraid of fussy cutting i always say fussy cutting just lends itself to some pretty um looks and it's going to add something extra and i got a new tool today in my delivery now i will show it to you but in it's going to be fun to use that but i think um, it will make life a lot easier so we're going to use the dark Moody more. And I'm going on my base and just on those edges, make sure where the petals are creating some shadow. Okay, there. Oops, I went a little out there of the line let's bring in my um my color lifter my newer one my i've got three here and i don't know which one is the, next, the latest but that's just to get rid of that I'm just tapping that on to get rid of that color. I'm kind of cutting out, but I will be leaving a gap. So I want that out. Let's leave that. Bring in your light moody more. And just pull that color in. And I'm going to add that on that line. Pull that in. Just those lines up the top. So if you can catch that.
And then we're going to bring in, bring in the dark bubble bark because I'm just going to add that first and then I'll bring in some light bubble bark. So firstly, this again, if I start on the previous colour just to make sure it blends nicely. Now I'm adding more dark bubble bark on the bottom and on the, the side of that and I didn't add too much there because uh, in the center petals it'll be a bit lighter because that's where the light will hit, hit the most so I leave that because and don't go too close to the flower because it does spread out of it. Now light bubble bath. Basically following those lines. And as you leave stamping blend to uh, settle eat the colors you blend a bit better and then you can see how it works and whether you are happy with that coloring i'm going to bring in that light um moody more a bit i'm trying to use moody more a bit i don't mind it now i haven't been using it much and i thought oh it's not bad Next, I'm going to be coloring some leaves, and we'll start with a dark old olive. So again, following some of the um, lines that are there, you can see a darker shading in the set itself, which helps. Um, with the shading, it gives you some communication. And then I'm going to bring the light old olive, and again, I'm pulling in that color so there's a nice blend. I forgot the other one, but that's okay. We'll go back. And I will do the light first. Go back with the dark. I'm leaving the white space. Sometimes the white space is nice. I like that white space. But this time I'm leaving it because I'm going to cover that up with um, a bit of soft sea foam for some variation. I um, do like that. Bringing back the dark order, I'm just to fill in these two leaves. And I'm just going to blend that back again. Right, now I'm going to bring it all over here on the stem. And I'll bring in light of the foreign. And again, pulling that color in. So that soft sea foam I'm coloring over a little bit of that old olive. And sometimes you want a differentiation, but this time I just want not a stark difference, you do want a variation. But what a nice blend. Right now we're gonna fuzzy cut this. And I will pull this out. I'm 
I am leaving a bit of a gap. Gonna trim that off so it's a bit easier to work with when it's a little bit smaller. Um, I'm just trimming that off and see how that cleaned up nicely. That color effect got rid of my line outside, which is nice for what I wanted. Now, most of this I can get around with the scissors. There's a bit in the centre, um, which regularly I would have gone around the arm with a scalpel, um, which I have got my whole tooling days. And I do use it quite often. Now, if you're working with a scalpel, you do need a self healing mat, like I've got here, and I just have that all the time on my uh, work surface. That's my, it's my work surface, but I have it under like the, the squid mat, the paper I've got. This is a just a cheap one I've got from Kmart. It was six dollars or something that I bought. Maybe a little bit more now. It makes, um, I just love how these flowers are pretty and I like the length, how they like it's a long stem and they look really nice. So, stick with me. Do you like how it feeling? How do you, does, is it relaxing? Is it relaxing? I think for me it's relaxing. Um, I'm finding it like it, what does it, does it make? Know you. Now, in this case, I'll go like that. You could do the whole thing with the scalpel if you are um, adept or deft, I should say, with that. And as I said, you don't have to do this. You can stamp it directly on the frame. Um, you can stamp it directly on that blue uh, circle, which we uh, blended before. Then you just have a partial. But whatever. It also, whether you like it, also, it also depends on time sometimes, doesn't it? Okay, now all those intricate ones, I just got to no, cut the big piece off, I just go in because it's a big remover. Um, get Paper snips are a must, which um, if you check out our top 10 must have in um, 
in the annual catalog with our paper snips and definitely must have. I, one thing I would add to that list is paper trimmer. I think um, that's the must have. So our paper trimmer is excellent because it actually you can um, score on that as well. So. You could fussy cut a bunch of these and uh, have ready to go. Um, I think colouring would be a bit trickier if once you fussy cut it, but be okay. Just because of the stems, and I think that's where you could lose some leaves maybe if you have fussy cut them. That's why I do it after as well. I just that's my habit that I'm used to. There's always glue, guys, if you lose the sleep, stick it back together. Nothing is ever lost. Always salvage. Okay, do you like this stamp set? I like the simplicity of it. It's a very... Um, I think it's just a very simple set. I have nothing to extract in. Just got some simple sentiments. You get a good workout on this with the fussy cutting. Okay. I can't wait to show you that too. I'll be seeing Lee sleep. Tell me what. Okay, last one. And um, last little bit. Now we've got a little bit here, right? That bottom bit. And I will use the scalpel in there. So for that, we're gonna pull this aside and we can go with I'm gonna use our crafters tips, which is part of the Take your pixel. Now, I just got this today. Um, the beauty of this is that you um, just switch it like as you need and then add your honey tip or whatever and you get different tips with this. So, it's sharp. You won't be careful. So, just go in there. And I'm doing it on my self milling cutting mat. And you could have done the whole thing like this and um, like that would have been fine too. It's easy. And that little bit, I think it's just easier to go in like this and do that. And next time I probably will use this for the entire image. It's much easier. Make sure you put a cap on. Alright, so we have a beautiful image that we have fussy cut ready to go. I've got a, a blended cardstock and uh, in balmy blue and my die cut circle from basic page next is we'll start with some assembly for our card and 
sorry, I have got, I've got a card base, but I'm, I will work on it in a second. So I have got this um, mat, uh, which I have embossed in with the eyelet embossing folder. And this is 14.3 by 10.5. So a, it's, um, it's a little bit long. I will I'll probably cut it down. And then I've got some of this Country Woods Designer Series paper. On, um, point, that's a bit, so, no, it's 14.8. So that's the full card front. So I'm going to leave it like that to cover my card, but I may change that up because I was thinking of putting it on a basic base, in which case I'm going to cut that down a bit. So should I put it on a white or a basic page? And I think I'm going to put it on a basic page. So this is going to go at 10 by 14.3. So this is just a basic card match. That's going to be there. This is the Country Woods Designer Series paper, which I have. Um, that's the, sorry, the Country Lace Design Series paper. This is the back of it. Um, I have cut it with the lines going vertically. So um, looks like that. Now, I also have a piece of, this is the Full of Life Designer Series paper. I've cut a little strip of that at the bottom. I think it goes well with our mauves. And I wanted to add a strip at the bottom of this piece. So that's what I'm going to do now. Add a bit of um, glue. And add it to that. I just like the stripes at the bottom, and I felt that added a nice touch to the the card. So we've got that happening now. I have not made a sample, so I'm trying to work out what to do here and um, just kind of winging it here, seeing what will work. Then what I have is a piece of the wildly flowering designer series paper. These take designer series paper, it's 12 by 12, and it's actually in the colors of the in colors last year so 2023 to 2025 so this is actually moody mauve which is what we've colored in here but when i placed it against that it just felt a little bit dull so i'm going to add some berry burst to it just to brighten it up a bit and then it may tone in a little bit better with the Card in general, so then it's not so a bit dull, and it's going to bring it out a bit and just brighten it. So now you can see I'm going to show you the original, and we can see a just a very slight difference, but it's enough. To just pick that color up a bit. So I've got a piece of basic white, and I've got this 
leaf stamp, which is also from the Spotlight on Nature Spencer. We've got basic page, and I'm going to do some stamping here. And I'm just creating a background here. Just filling it in. I'm going to trim a banner into this. This is a cut up the center. We'll do the same with this one. And I want the flowers sort of sitting up with, so. I feel. Okay. Maybe a little bit. Sometimes that's gonna look like that. The sentiment I'm picking is dear friend from the spotlight on nature stamp fan. I'm gonna stamp it in tuxedo black onto the stamp banner. We have the basic page. By doing that, it just gives you a nice little, um, nice background, something not too heavy, but adds a little bit of interest there. So basically, now my card is coming together. I've got all my bits and pieces. I feel I need something a bit more blue. I haven't got some blue here, and I'm not sure what to put. So I feel it's it's got the nice blue there, but I feel like it needs something. And perhaps I was going to put linen and thread, and as I'm thinking now, I do have some of this Baker's twine in the three color combo. Maybe we could put some of that in the blue. That might work. So let's start going down. I'm just going to go my favorite um, linen thread. Couldn't resist. Maybe. Now, this is going to go right across. I'm just Wrapping that, rubbing that down with my bone holder just to get rid of that edge from the from the sometimes which has and placing that right there. I could even as so I'm sticking this down and thinking I could even I was thinking of adding a bit something under there, but I'm just gonna leave it. I think it's nice just like that. I think those look, stripes look really nice. Uh, that is the pop of color. What do you think? Let me know. I'm bringing that towards the bottom. You can still see a bit of white, but it's just got that touch of a gap, extra bit of gap at the top. I'm glue these together. Bring in some dimensionals. I'm going to put that there just a touch above that. 
like that. So these flowers, I'm going to just pop some dimensionals onto the flowers and I think I may, I might give these leaves a bit of a curve, but pretty much just glue them down on the base. So they've still got some dimension curving right on the top, but then they're, they're glued down. And this is when I add, like, I know I love a bad amount of layers, and that's just me. But I start with the total image. I kind of decide, that, yeah, generally I start with the total image. Sometimes I do start with the background because um, I might create a try a fun technique on the background. Um, and then I work my way either up or down. So if it's the focal image, in this case, I worked down. So I go, okay, I want this image from the spotlight on nature, which was the flowers. And then I go, okay, what am I going to lay it on? And then I work backwards, so to speak, um, adding then the, map, the circles. And okay, okay, the circles need to lay on something else. And the card base pretty much is my final. I um, don't decide on card base. Till the end till I know what I'm doing and I don't stick anything down until the episode at last. Um, sometimes then I'll go okay maybe I could put a butterfly or something on the top but that's just like little details to just enhance. He doesn't want to come off. He's, he's, if you take the backing off and it sticks back on there, it doesn't come off. So now I've just got the dimensional flowers and the leaves are added to the glue. Onto the base. And the stems. That also allows me to, <laughs> I kind of forgot to do, add these guys in here yeah, now, that is all right, maybe, kind of had an idea, oh, I think I wanted to put it like that, and then we will like that. A little blue to So this is a three twine, so the, three, the three colors. It's a floaty flamingo, lemon lolly, and balmy blue. And they're working with those rainbow dots. Which carried over from our previous cattle, uh, the mini. My hands are sticky. It's not. So, in this case, just get my fingers in there, tie the cord. And then it makes that nice um, curve. It's nice like that. Trim that down. Trim that down. 
and we'll glue these on there. Some dimensionals on the back piece of Moody Moore. So I put my added some Barney Blue, which I wanted to well, have the base set, which I like Barney um, Blue, but it got lost on its own. It didn't have a mate in Barney Blue, so adding the twine just sort of gave it a buddy. I'm going to add another dimensional on top in this um, layering that we're under because it's sitting on the right. Then I'm going to add this. And this may go like that. And I'm going to add three. So it sits nicely. Okay, we'll add a glue dog and then we'll put some instruments on this. To finish it up. This this little loop has a mind wanting to convey. All right, so we've got that. I did bring out some other some new embellishment, but I have a feeling they won't quite work. If you see some these ones, no, they will not. Or oh, maybe that's the reason I brought them out because I thought those purpley ones, the black very police ones, would work with our purple tones in this. They may be okay. Sometimes you need to have a bit of contrast. Hmm. Yeah, they look good. I sort of lift it up a bit. And we are done. And I will I will probably um let's do the inside just for um let's oh no, let's stamp the leaf that we stamped in basically so we get a nice tone on tone if that you like the card let me know that's nice. So I'll stamp the envelope. Well, all done. So we made it, guys. We finally got pull our card after a bit of a rocky start. But we did it. Clean up my mess. So spotlight on me. That's that. Colored with blends some nice fussy cutting i will have a product list for you um so you can add them to your order if you're living in australia you can shop anywhere in australia and add these to a cart and um, let me know what you think leave me a comment um, what products you love here and if i can help you in any way please give a call or message me um i'd love to help you Thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate you sleeping with me tonight and um, your support means a lot to me. I look forward to sharing with you more next week on my Facebook Live. Please make sure you hop on to my YouTube channel as well. I will be having, um, 
um, participating in Video Hub tonight. So I do share exclusive videos on there as well. So um, subscribe there and enjoy some, some more inspiration there. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a lovely rest of the week and God bless. Bye-bye.